Okay. Why don't we signal more survivors with a beacon as well? We have a beacon. All so right. Let's use it, right? Cool. <clears throat> See if we can attract any more survivors so we can do more stuff. Whoa. A caravan has arrived at the house. It's full of men, women, and some children. <clears throat> they look hungry. Some are carrying weapons, but they don't look hostile. One step forward and asks for some tools. They said they might be useful to us in the future if we can help. I'd say we have a lot of extra tools. We... And I don't want them to shoot us. I don't want them to shoot us either. This isn't like... I mean, I'm assuming that since they have kids with them, this isn't likely to turn violent. Yeah. But I think we have plenty of tools. Yeah. So we could probably give up a few. As long as they're not asking for food, that's fine, because we don't have that much food. You're right. We can't give them the snacks. That would, that would be wrong. No. They, they can't handle the power of the snacks. <laughs> a caravan arrived at the house. We gave them a beacon, a bottle of spirits, a can of gasoline, a carving knife, a pair of pliers, a screwdriver, and a sponge. Apparently we gave them the beacon that we used to try to attract them with. And then Todd couldn't find the beacon. Yep. Backfired slightly. Uh, and, okay, now an experimental spike and cage trap has been set in the living room. Yeah. It deals a high amount of damage and will make a zombie immobile. It can strike 30 targets at once! And Carl ate a snack! <laughs> Carl is awesome! He deserves that snack. Carl briefly stopped making traps, picked up a screwdriver, and messed up a zombie in the torso through a secured window. Yeah. Carl is awesome! Dude. An experimental guillotine and cage trap has been set in the living room. It deals a high amount of damage and will make a zombie immobile. It has 34 uses. Carl is my hero. <laughs> Carl is amazing! <laughs> I hope we can teach him how to use a door. Yeah! <laughs> wow. Hey, Carl's starting to get a little He still tired. has a concussion! Apparently! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> Why don't we just have Carl and Todd patrol outside and kill off those zombies? Alright, alright. Actually, better yet, let's have Carl just, like... How do we have him just... Let's just have him watch for zombies. Yeah. He can just watch Todd kill some zombies. Yeah. That way Carl can rest for a little bit. Yeah, he's got a concussion, too. I don't know if that's going to backfire at some point. Todd was attacked by a zombie while on patrol. He took care of them. Using a pair of brass knuckles, he struck down two of them. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's see if that helps at all. Okay, he's still tired, but he's got a flashlight. Okay, it's starting to get to daytime. I don't hear zombies anymore, but I do hear a dog. So why don't we send... Car, uh, Todd back over here and pick up some more snacks. Right. Because we want more snacks. Yes. Plus, we have another beacon over there, so. Totally. Snack beacon. Yes. We're going to break in again, because apparently that's all we can do. <laughs> We're not going to bother taking anything with us, because we want to carry as much back as we can. Whoa! The experimental glass and clamp trap in the living room fired unexpectedly. Fortunately, no one was injured. Okay, Carl, you're starting to scare me. Carl ate a snack. Apparently, Carl was trying to kill Todd. Yeah, apparently. Todd approached the house with the intention of breaking in. He had to spend some time finding a way in. He found a second story window to the first bathroom. He had to take out a zombie before he could break in. There were no zombies inside. There are a handful of zombies wandering around inside here, and a small mob is gathering around the house. Oh, goody. That's just what we need. Oh. Uh, why is his thing his thing changed color? Yeah, it did. I think he's stuck here for a bit. Okay, because he took so long, he's actually still trying to get in. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's hope. I think that's what that means, anyway. He goes too bad. Yeah, he's still breaching. He's still going inside. Yeah. But that's okay. Hopefully he'll not die. That would suck. <clears throat> not as not as much as it would if Carl died, though. Oh, yeah. So we'll have Carl just keep uh, watching for zombies, I guess. It's really funny to think that Carl's doing all this stuff while, like, loopy as fuck. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, it kind of is. <laughs> that may be why he's capable. 
Carl briefly stopped watching for zombies to skewer a zombie in the head. <laughs> and then he reported there are no zombies outside the house. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Todd was still trying to clear out the one remaining zombie inside the house. Small mob had gathered outside the place. Most of the fighting took place in the first bathroom. Todd bashed a zombie's head with his bare hands after clobbering it repeatedly in various places. But he killed them all, so that's good. Do we remember to give Todd stuff to, like, fight with? No, we did not. That would explain some things. Yes, 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 it would. Okay, um, we're sending Todd back now. Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> And we're going to send him back with a beacon to attract more survivors. And let's see here. Oh, that's what the can of gasoline can be used for. That's interesting. What? And create a bonfire to attract zombies all from all over town. Oh, wow. So we could, like, burn a building down. Huh. Bringing in some cooking ingredients. And three more snacks. And let's hope that Todd manages to get back and not die. I told him, again, we have to breach our own house. This is bothering me. But, Carl... I'm going to have Carl continue searching the location, because apparently we have not searched the entire place. And there are no zombies around it, so... Yeah. Uh-oh. The experimental guillotine cage trap went off by itself. Oh, goody. Carl waited for the right moment and let Todd inside. Okay, so Carl, Todd did not have to break in because Carl was there to let him in. Right. Carl found a deck of playing cards. Okay. Nice. And then Todd took a shower. Notice that Carl hasn't showered yet. Yeah. I think Carl might be uh, starting to smell a little bit. Probably. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, they're both getting a little tired. Yeah. How do we fix uh, Carl's concussion there? We need medical stuff. supplies for that. Yeah, that's a ways away, isn't it? Or yeah, well, I'm assuming medical supplies oh, would be at right the hospital. There, yeah. Yeah. But there would probably be a ton of zombies there, so yeah. make sure we're well armed when we get the, to that point. Hmm. You think we should? Well, I don't really want to send them both, obviously. Let's let's see what they got at some of the stores, because sometimes you know, it's kind okay. of a, kind of a zombie cliche is uh, zombie movie cliche is finding you know, a shotgun underneath the counter kind of thing. You know? Okay, so we'll just go to this yeah. store next door, next door, basically. Yeah. But well, we're going to send uh, Todd by himself. Weapons. Yes, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to do that <laughs> this time. Carl is going to watch for zombies and f signal survivors with a beacon. Yeah. Just in case. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll find somebody this time. And Todd yeah. is going to... We could have him just investigate, count zombies, and come back. Yeah. But I want to have him go ahead and break in. Yeah. And we'll send him with, let's see, brass knuckles or quiet. Yeah, we have two handguns. We can probably use one. Yeah, but they're loud, though. Yeah, that's true. They're really loud, and we don't want to attract even more zombies than we have yeah. to. How about we send him with the, with the crowbar? Yeah. Because that's still a decent, I mean, it's not a great weapon, but it's better than nothing. Exactly. And it lets him break in better. Yeah. So we'll, and it's it's two weight, which still gives us four point five weight to bring it back. Right on. So that looks good to me. And we're gonna breach in. Carl's gonna try and signal more survivors, and maybe we'll get more survivors. Awesome. So let's see what happens. Adrienne Martinez, another survivor, has approached the group. She looks healthy, experienced, and stable, but that's all we know. She brings with her cooking ingredients and three small meals, and she's a cop. I I'll take her. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's see here. Store at four, 7 Vicar Drive is a tiny building with around four rooms. It has three doors and eight windows leading in from the outside. This place should contain a cache of weapons. Smart. Good yeah. boy. Todd approached the store with the intention of breaking in. He had to spend some time trying to find a way in, increasing the risk of, risk of a confrontation. He had to straight for the front door. <laughs> he had to stand outside. <laughs> Todd is not the sharpest knife in the drawer. No, apparently not. <laughs> oh, the front door leading to the storeroom. Okay. But he got in with the crowbar. He cleared the room. He took down two zombies. Nice. Yeah. And there are only a handful of zombies wandering around inside. Doesn't look like there are any zombies outside the store. Right. And then, at the house, 
A zombie wandered too close to a window. Carl stabbed its head with a drill. <laughs> I love Carl. Carl's Carl the best. Is, Carl is amazing. And then Adria Martinez showed up. She's healthy, unbitten, carrying some food. And she joined the group. Awesome. Very cool. Let's see her. She is the donut because she's a cop, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then. <laughs> okay. Uh... Let's send her, hmm. You know what? We can actually send her to the other house to pick up some more stuff. Yep, let's remember weapons. Breach with... Let's send her... We don't want to take the drill. Carl's doing great with the drill. No, Carl likes the drill. Don't take, don't take his drill. Yeah, no. We don't want to touch his drill. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll send her with a golf club. It's quiet and it's easy to use. Yeah. And it's also it's also light, and that means she can carry up more stuff. Yeah. And Todd is still busting into the store over here. Yeah. And uh, Carl will continue to watch for zombies, and he'll continue to signal for survivors. I like it. It's a good plan. Okay. Adrienne approached the house with the intention of breaking in. She had to spend some time trying to find a way in, which she went into the first bathroom like everybody else does. Once she got closer, it proved tricky to access, but she had to kill a zombie before she could break in. There were no zombies inside the bathroom, only a handful of wandering around in the house. Doesn't look like there were any outside the house. The store... Okay. He, uh, he, took all, he killed two zombies with a crowbar, and he got them all. Awesome. So, Todd is good to go. Adrienne is going to have to fight her way in. Ugh. Um, she's going to be breaching still, so that might take yeah. a little bit. Right. Todd is going to search the location, obviously. Yep. For weapons and ammo. Well, actually, medical supplies first. Yep. Just in case. And Carl is going to continue watching. Hmm. I think this means that these two like each other, and these two only kind of like each other. Yeah. Not sure how that works. Yeah, it seems like that's probably the case. Huh. I wonder what spreading rumors actually does. It makes things complicated. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, and that seems like everybody's got orders now. I imagine it's something you only do when you're working. Carl ate a snack. <laughs> Todd found two bandages, five cooking ingredients, and a fire axe! Woo! <laughs> nice! Okay, he also found six cooking ingredients in the aisles, and there's a shower. Adriana's still trying to clear out the zombies. There's a mob outside. She killed a zombie with a golf club. She got all the zombies inside. So Adrienne is going to come back with stuff. Uh, I think that's how that works. Yes. Reach, and she's going to carry a golf club and a can of gasoline and uh, some cooking ingredients. Okay. We'll have to come back if we need snacks later. Okay. At least we know where they are. <laughs> and Todd will keep searching for now. And then he'll, you know, we'll have Adrian come and help him carry everything back. Right. And Carl's just going to keep watching. Yeah. Carl ate a snack. He let Adrienne in. There are zombies around the house, but only a few of them. Okay, Todd found cooking ingredient, flashlight. 80 rounds! Interesting. And a handgun. And a crowbar. Okay, cool. Holy crap! Sounds pretty good. Adrienne is going to go over here. She's not going to bother carrying weapons on her. Yep. This time. Carl can apparently hold the house all by himself. Yeah, apparently. He's pretty capable. And Todd is going to keep searching. And instead of searching for medical supplies, I'm going to move into ammo, up to weapons and ammo now. Right. Just in case we find better guns. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Well. Okay. He found a bolt action rifle and an SMG. Nice. Submachine gun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Although, I wonder 
<laughs> what was going on in that store? <laughs> I, it must have been a gun store. It must have been. That's all yeah. I can think of, because there's a bolt-action rifle and an SMG, yeah. a cricket bat, handgun, two baseball bats, a whole bunch of rounds and quarrels and random stuff. Man, this is kind of an awesome place here. <laughs> so we're going to send them back here, obviously have them breach. Uh, we can carry 11 pounds worth of stuff, so submachine gun, bolt action rifle, handgun, all of the rounds, obviously. Okay, what's the weight on those? Are they... uh, 0 0.05 a piece, so 10 of them is, fi is 0 0.5. All right, cool. 10 of them is half a pound. All right. And we're going to carry, bring back the bandages. Yeah, obviously. And then uh, bring back one, one frying pan and a cooking ingredient. We'll come back, obviously, oh, for yeah. more. Oh, fire axes. Right, we're going to come back for the rest of it. We're yeah. going to be ferrying stuff back and forth for a little gotcha. bit. Gotcha. Carl, obviously, is going to keep watching the house. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, Todd got a broken arm from the spike and cage trap. Oops. Carl really was trying to kill Todd. Hmm. And Adrienne played a game of solitaire. Okay. So I guess we're going to have to leave Todd here to uh, hmm. to watch things for a little bit. Yeah. Well, you know what? No, screw it. He's gonna he he's gonna hump. He's gonna hump it for a bit. Yeah. He and Adrian are going back. They got a breach. They're gonna carry with them two pairs. They're gonna each carry a brass knuckle pair. You know. Yeah. That'll do for now. And Carl is going to continue to watch for zombies and signaling survivors. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, they broke in. No zombies outside the store. Barricade leading to the living room is receiving minor damage. Okay, we'll have to do something about that when everybody gets back. Yeah. Obviously, they're going to go back to the house. They're going to carry uh, fire axes. Going to carry both of them. Yeah. Brass knuckles are coming back with us. Cricket bat, baseball bats. Hmm. Cooking hmm. ingredients. One, oh, uh, yeah, I, guess, I guess we don't need another crowbar just yet. No, but... Cooking ingredients, yeah. Four more cooking ingredients. We'll have to make another trip before the day's over. Yeah. Which, unfortunately, is going to be mm. a problem. Yeah. Carl waited and let them in. Todd ate a snack. It's going to get dark outside. Okay. There's a small number of zombies at the house. So, if it's going to get zo dark outside, we should probably have Adrienne fight some zombies. Yeah. So we're going to have her patrol outside because she's really good at it. Yeah. And attack zombies. Carl... Why am I clicking on Carl? Yeah. Carl is going to... Oh, he can't treat an injured person because we don't have the right stuff to treat a broken arm. Shit. That's not good. No. Um, I'm going to send Todd back to the store. Because right. he's got the most carrying capacity. Yeah. He's going to go back, breach with the crowbar. We left the crowbar, didn't we? We left our crowbar behind. Darn it. So carry, no, nah, fire axe is too heavy. I'm just going to have him carry a cricket bat. All right. It'll do for now. And Carl's going to keep watch for zombies. Actually, you know what? Carl? Why not Carl go out there with her? Yeah. That way they can both fight zombies.